So we've been working on combinations, and what we're looking at now is not the probability of an event happening, but right now we're just gathering how many ways could that happen. So we're taking a standard deck of 52 cards. The same card deck that you're thinking of is the one I'm thinking of. And the question here is how many five-card hands are there where the value of each card is a prime number? Here I have a little caveat here. Let aces equal one because I'm sure you're aware sometimes they equal 11. So what I would do is I'd say, well, what are the outcomes for cards possible where an ace is worth one, twos are worth two, threes, fours, fives, six, seven, eight, nine, Tens are worth 10, jacks are worth 10, queens are worth 10, kings are worth 10, right? So we have all these possibilities, the 13 cards that, that we could draw, and which of them have values that are prime? Well, this is kind of a trick question because one is not a prime number, right? Prime numbers have exactly two factors, so one is not prime. It's neither prime nor composite, so that, that was a little trick for us. Two is prime, three is prime, four is not five, seven is prime, Nine is not prime, and of course, none of these tens are prime. So that gives us those numbers, right? So here are the numbers that are possible. There's two, there's three, there's four. Well, how many twos are there? Well, there are four of them, right? Diamonds, hearts, spades, and clubs. How many threes? The same. There are four of them. I'm counting how many ways there are. There are four ways to get a five. There are four sevens, and I think that covers it, doesn't it? So how many cards are there that have... a whose face value is a prime number. Well, there are 16, so we want, we want to choose from those 16 cards, and how many, we want five cards at a time. So how many ways? The combination of 16, point, uh, 16 choose five. Remember, though, that the combination of n events, taken r at a time, is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. So that would look something like this, wouldn't it? It would look like it would equal 16 factorial over 16 minus 5 is 11 factorial, 5 factorial. For me, I don't care so much what that value is. I guess I would clean this up a little bit. I'd do 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 factorial. And the reason I'm using that 11 factorial is because, look, I have 11 factorial here. And, right, this is... 11 factorial. So I go back to this, and then right, I take this 11 factorial at the bottom, and they would cancel out as one, wouldn't they? And I'd still have 5 factorial. It would clean it up some. It's still not the answer. You'd need a calculator to do this, but it would, so it would be 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 over 5 factorial, which is certainly calculator math. Okay? All right, you guys. Hard work is good work.